Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the terminal block kit in the tap and range. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a 3 8 inch nut driver, and a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new terminal block kit. The reason why the terminal block would need to be replaced is if it gets damaged due to a loose wire connection, causing the oven not to work. Usually, the power cord should be replaced together with the terminal block. Let's begin with removing the quarter inch screw and the rear cover plate. Take a picture of the old terminal block with connected wires and then, using the 3 8 inch nut driver, remove the nuts that hold the power cord wire terminals. Take the washers off the terminal block post and unscrew the 3 3 8 inch nuts. Remove the washers and the wires off the posts. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the ground screw and put it aside. Using the Phillips screwdriver, Take out two screws and remove the old terminal block. Here's what you need to do if you are going to replace the old power cord. Loosen up two Phillips screws at the bottom and pull the old power cord out. Then, place the new power cord through the restrictor and tighten both Phillips screws up. This is the old terminal block kit next to the new one. If you don't have these parts, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's install the new terminal block. Mount it on the same place the old one was and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Slide the ground connector on the middle post and attach it to the rear panel with a quarter inch screw. Put the range wires on the posts, then put on the flat washers and secure them with the 3 8 inch nuts. Make sure they are tight. Slide on the saucer type washers and put on the power cord connectors. Install the 3 8 nuts and tighten them real good. Install the cover plate and secure it with a quarter inch screw. And now when we're done, you can plug the wrench back in. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.